Definitely need this one. This cup of tea is not going to be strong enough for long and end up saying. Here now. So welcome to the channel. Um, how do I come across this as a political channel in a manner of speaking and don't make it political? That's what happens when you annoy a lot of people, including myself. Britons, Americans, sex, colour, LGB, whatever the hell you want to call yourself. Then you make YouTube channels. You know, to express your feelings, or sometimes to create a message for the agenda. Depends what you are. Mine, my main channel when I started, was entertainment. And all I wanted to do was entertain people. But even then, I wasn't good enough. So, how did I come to make an entertainment channel to... Wanting to make a political channel. I'll explain. This, well, recently the whole of the internet just suffered, or mostly YouTube, has just suffered through the second adpocalypse. Mainly, and bloody stupidly, thanks to this one guy, Carlos Maza. I hope you said, I'm saying his name right. Basically, what happened was, if you've not heard this guy's name in a while, or you never did, he was, he's, a, he's a gay journalist on the channel of uh, Vox, Vox Productions or anything like that. It's mainly American based, so if anyone's not heard of it before, don't blame you. But this guy started to moan at... <laughs> <coughs> This guy started to, um, what's the light word to say, attack, well, let's use what the leftists use, attacking people with words instead of actual physical things, that's what the actual word means, the actual word, boy. So, Carlos Maza decides to, after a long time of taking the piss taken out of him by the guy of Stephen Clowder, Decides to take it on a step further about the guy that was taking the piss out of him. Now, honestly, if this was me, Steve Calder taking the piss out of me, honestly, I wouldn't be far from the truth of saying, okay, shove off the shoulders. You know, nothing much. <laughs> no, this guy ends up moaning about it, telling to... The whole telling Twitter, I believe he said Twitter and YouTube, and telling YouTube to completely destroy his channel, to demonetize it, to eradicate it, to actually block the channel, to just just make sure Steve Clowder's channel doesn't exist. Now I don't really know Steve Clowder a lot, but all I know he's a conservative for the American states. Now, what am I going to talk about America when I bite in Scotland? Now, I don't really want to talk about this stuff a lot. But basically what happened after that was basically one guy couldn't handle taking the piss taken over him. And then the whole of YouTube got sinned for that. Luckily, I survived. Somehow. So... Basically, the apocalypse happened and many, many channels got demonetized, meaning they can't get funded by the thing and be funded by YouTube. And they have are trying to make their best to make sure these channels, which are classed as light winged, which is basically the media's sensation of having the center, left and light, anywhere that's going out of the left into the light, far light. You know, like Adolf Hitler and all them blocks. Stalin on the Communist Party, which is technically fascism on the left. But we're not going to go that far. This is what explained to me by everyone in the world. 
mainly the internet. So this happened, loads of channels got taken down, I was survived. But the thing was, after all this time, I have still been annoyed by leftist media and SJW bullshit and things into learning my favourite show since I was a kid, like The Simpsons, money about Pooh being in the show for he's, when he's like 20 years in, changing my favourite franchise of all time to Star Wars to fit an agenda, making anything I love about the Star Wars thing, about movies, Doctor Who, sci-fi, anything, games, movies, entertainment, music, to stick to a standard that doesn't exist in the world just now, but they're trying to make it trendy. You know you're gonna piss off a lot of folk in the in the way, aren't you? You know, which is what happened to me. And uh, if anyone recognizes this kind of hat, or when I wear it. This was one of the biggest times I got woken up about the when I took the red pill instead of the blue pill. That's the Matrix reference. You should watch the scene. It quite makes a lot of sense to what I'm on about. Now, if you've never seen the... There's a guy in Scotland with this hat or something like it. It's, I think it's pretty cool. It's called... Uh, what's his name? You know, it, it, it's so hard to forget these light-wing fascist cunts, you know? I mean, I could I could <laughs> barely could barely remember someone like that and he destroyed the whole face of the reality we could just get that far, but nah. No, then he's not that bad. He's called Count Dankula. Count Dankula made a video, which was a piss-take video, by the way, of, a, a, of his girlfriend's pug lifting his paw up and watching Nazi propaganda. Now, the news took this as light-wing fascism and its own light. And then the guy had to pay a thousand pound for taking the piss out of a dog, which he found incredibly annoying because his girlfriend was more cute than him. Honestly, the pug has every right to be ashamed. All I'm supposed to be thinking about people, not the dog, sorry. So... That was the first time I got waking up, and then Star Wars happened. And I'm not going to explain the whole Star Wars situation, but ever since the Stephen Crowder's incident, which ended demonetizing nine good Porsche channels I watch on the internet, and they eat, uh, no. I started getting concerned, really concerned about what I could say. I like people. I love people. Honestly, I wish I wasn't making this channel, but it looks like I need to start moving up in the world and actually start sounding political like a buddy politician, which was never my intent when I was young. I wanted to go into space and be an astronaut. Obviously that didn't happen, so now you're going to be a fucking politician over the fucking internet. I know I'm swearing a lot, I'm sorry, but this is basically how I'm feeling. If I'm not allowed to have the feelings I feel like now, what's the point of me talking? What's the point of me being in this world where I can't even have my opinion said? Which is exactly what brings me on to the next point. SJWs and leftist globalist agendas. The world that we live in now is close to anarchy. Very close. You can't say what you want to say. You can't support Christianity because it's against religion. You can't say anything about anyone without being shunned by the police or even the media or the internet and getting called light-wing fascism, which isn't true. I can say I don't like somebody and that be it. This is how the world for the last 200 years has existed. That's probably beyond 200 years, but that's a good explanation. Well, we just survived a thing called the Adpocalypse. The second turn of it. So this is the second one. The second one. Now, this channel 
It's called Here He Goes Again. Because it's my turn to get my word in before I get shut down, shut up, and everything else before I get shut down over the internet. There was a few things that came to this. Like I just said, we just had the adpocalypse. Now, some of you don't know what the adpocalypse is. Don't blame you. Probably didn't affect you as much. But for people who are into YouTube and trying to learn about how the real world works, the lead pill, the fact that the BBC controls everything, they, they say the media has their own way about doing stuff, there's, there's things like that, there's a lot of different things. Long. BBC, I just said, is a big, you know, option. There's a lot of things wrong with government, people, SJWs, feminists, or the third wave feminism. That would be probably the best one. The ones before that, they were fine. They could have done whatever they wanted. It's the third wave one. They're the baddies. But we're not on about that. I didn't need to make this channel. But I'm trying to get my words said. Because I'm seeing channels that I used to like. I thought I was going to get shut down. I thought I was going to get demonetized for doing something that I enjoyed for a while. So, what happened after that? A lot of channels got suffered. A lot of channels got demonetized, means they don't get paid. A lot of channels got the treatment of, right, YouTube isn't a platform anymore, despite it's supposed to be great for content creators like myself or my other channel. I stopped making videos for that channel, which was, sorry, I stopped making content for that channel, which was based on pure entertainment. Obviously people couldn't handle me just trying to make a little bit of fun or poke fun at myself. So I stopped that one. That was just human beings themselves being assholes because they can't grow up. This is obviously people I know in real life. But, in this one, this goes too far. Yeah. My channel was okay, because it was mostly entertainment that would only affect the Article 13 and Article 11 of the EU law. Now this is the second part of my video I'm on about. This leads up from the things from before. As you know, I'm from the UK, I'm Scottish. I don't sound Scottish. I'm from Scotland. I am proud to be a member of the United Kingdom. I'm also proud to be a member of the Scottish you know, Kingdom of Scotland. I'm proud. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm also proud to be white and with a beard. I'm also proud to do that. Be that and whatever. If I was something else, I would have to deal with it. That but doesn't make me a Nazi. So this is make that clear. I'm not a Nazi. I don't support what they do. I like different people. Some people have a chip on their shoulder. I will question why they've got a chip on their shoulder. But that doesn't mean I hate different people. I love people. There's nothing wrong. There's reasons people say stuff. And I watch what I say on purpose. If I say something offensive, call me out. But don't demonetize it. We're going off subject again. So, Article 13 and Article 11. As I mentioned, I'm a proud member of the UK and a member of, Scot a member of the country of Scotland. As you know, Britain was supposed to leave the Constitution of the European Union on the 29th of March 2019. It never happened. It never bloody happened. There were a few reasons I voted to leave. Because I voted to leave, we won. If I voted the main, I would have to stick by the vote. My vote wouldn't have made any difference. But the Remainers, they don't give up. 
Give them credit for not giving up. But you fucking lost. Accept your loss and move on. They, but they haven't though. Even Westminster hasn't done this. Even members of the public haven't done this. And now I see after all the few years have gone by, somehow the SNP can't deal with a loss. SNP don't give up about this. They're not giving up for independent Scotland, which is good for that, but the thing is we need to be part of the UK. And when the UK voted to leave the EU, we knew this was coming. It wasn't a violation of the constitution of SNP. SNP have done a lot more damage than the actual Conservative Party have ever seen. Yeah, maybe Mully is now SNP run. But the thing was, you still let the things happen. You still let them build money on stuff that we don't fucking need. Lots of millions of pounds on community centres, schools and places where we don't need the fucking money to be put. Then we in the great people that cause crime and all that. It causes problems for people. And then we've got the EU to deal with. That's the big boy in the, over across the water. Not America, not Russia, but the EU. Now, when I was started thinking about the Brexit thing, I didn't really know much, because I had a couple of things going on in my life instead of bloody politics. Now I'm watching it, doing a fucking camera video thing. Dude. That's great. So, there was only one thing I was asked. I'm not stupid. I can use my head if I want to. So don't turn around and say I was uneducated. I was asked the question, do you want to leave the European Union? Yes or no? I think that was what I had written down. Oh wait, it fucking was. Because we got a pamphlet through the bloody door. So, I was actually going to vote the main. Because I didn't see the problem. Until the news told me, apparently, the UK, this was when I was 16, by the way, 17, 16, whatever. Apparently, we get told new laws from Brussels. That is not in London. I thought this country was its own standing feet for hundreds of years. But we were getting orders for another country. Are you fucking kidding me? The whole time I've been stuck in a par partnership because I'm not our country's not allowed to change its own laws. How damn undemocratic is that? That was what my head was saying back then. What I'm saying now is, what even worse shit show I realised I was in? The European Army is getting created. The Prime Minister Theresa May, she's she's gone. David Cameron, he's gone. Boris Johnson might be the best Prime Minister. I might support that guy now with a cup of tea. Cup's empty now, that's great. Um, uh, Europe is a problem. We don't need to be part of that problem. They want 39 billion out of our tax wages for the leaving thing. And then Theresa May comes back with a negotiation of a a bill or a leaving thing and uh, basically says you're still stuck in the EU despite whatever we say which is basically how Brussels runs which is like we tell you what to do and don't say otherwise why do you think fa buddy France has been in lights for four 31 weeks straight because of taxation prices and globalism ideals that are not ideal to the general French citizen. And these globalist ideas would have worked great if there was a new country formed. You know, a new magical island showed up in the middle of the Atlantic and everyone went there and everyone worked, you know, as a community. That is where globalism can work. Not there. I even read a thing in an article of all about history. Came up with the five biggest em 
the European empires has actually showed up. You know, Napoleon, Julius Caesar, Hitler, um, somebody else, and Brussels. Sorry, Brussels and the EU. Now, they're obviously making a point there, saying it's more of an imperial state than anything else. Because one country can't choose its own way about doing stuff without breaking contract. And why should the country that's trying to leave that contract suffer? And then you've got what... That's exactly what we're trying to do. We're trying to leave a, a European Union which doesn't want us to leave because we're too much of a good gold goose. I'm not sure if that makes any sense to you. If you look over this video a few more times in this little section here, it might make a little sense. But I would explain this more and more in videos to come, if I do that. I didn't want to come back to YouTube on this basis. So, I support Brexit. Europe's about to go into a shit show. Poland wants to leave. Um, Italy wants to leave. They had the EU elections. They say more nationalism has been influenced throughout the globe. Good on them. You should be proud of your country where you're from. I'm proud to be Scottish. A Frenchman should be happy to be a Frenchman. A German should be happy to be a German. A Spanish, a Spanish guy can be happy to be Spanish. Polish people can be happy to be Polish people. And so on. But then the media happens. Then they name you a Nazi, a fascist, a lightest extremist. If I'm an extremist, oof, oof, oof. I must be just as bad as the guy with the small moustache here. Huh? Must be as bad as him. You don't fucking put me in the same spot as those guys. Those guys kill people because they look different. That makes me annoyed. That makes me want to make content against the people, the media, which starts to call people that what they are. People who want independence from their countries of the European Union. They want a United States of America, which by you know, it's actually the public. They didn't actually realise that until somebody said it. Thank you, Stephen Crowder. Didn't even know that. So, I've been rambling on for good 15-20 minutes, don't know how long this has been. This is my first introduction video for you to understand where I come from. As you tell, I'm not that happy about videos. Or this one, anyway. I'm not wearing a suit to look smart or anything like that. Actually, I, am. I wear a suit just to make sure I don't look like I'm some peasant that the media disclaimed or the high tack under taxpayers have to look down on. I'm somebody who wants change. And if this is going to be a way about it, so be it. So be it. But if you, if you understand where I come from, you're sick of how politics are, you think change should be a thing, you're sick of SJWs telling everyone you can't handle something, that means the whole system has to be changed. If you think the Britain should leave the EU or the democratic system should change, it's up to you. But you should subscribe. Subscribe and join the fight. Take the lead pill. We have two choices in this world. When you get old enough, you have to take the pill to go down the rabbit hole. You have to make sure <clears throat> things that we do now are necessary. Take, take the lead pill, go down the rabbit hole, and realize what your world is. Yes, it's dark. Yes, it's unpleasing, but at least you'll be awake to what you can do with that elemental power you've got.
You know the lights turn lead because the things have to stop. You know Keanu Reeves doesn't touch women because he doesn't want to get attacked by the social media because he's a good state right now. He's Jesus Christ's saviour. Everyone loves him now. How can you be in a position where a man can't even be in a woman's in a range of a woman without being harassed? You know? If you can't be friends with someone because of their skin, you can't be friends with a woman because she gets offended. What's the point? How are you going to find love? How are you going to be with other people? How are you going to socialise? France is in flames every weekend. 31 weeks in a row this. It's unnecessary. It's so unnecessary. Europe wants to, is about to destroy itself. Britain is in the blink of lit destroying itself. America is in the middle of a political outrage. <clears throat> if you take the lead pill, just take that lead pill, go down the rabbit hole and realise how far the shit goes, how far everything goes. You'll be surprised on how things are bad. But don't go so far down the hole that you can't get back out again. That's where depression goes. There goes my fucking phone. Great. Fucking great. I was getting more tenacious there. Go down the rabbit hole. Find what's the truth. Why things happen, why this is this, why this is that. But don't give up. There's only one way to go from down is up. There's no problem with that. You stay down there in the dark, you go into depression. You might kill yourself. That's not telling you to do that. A lot of people end up like that when they realise how bad this world is. But it doesn't need to be that way. Look at faith and go up. Look up to something and say, Light, I can be something. I can do more. I didn't want to do this. But I can make a video about it. And feel better about myself saying, I told a few people this. I did this. I could do something. I can go out in the world and be okay about it. Despite I know how shit it is, how bad it is. How destructive it is, how mediocre, how political, how you know people just ignore everything that goes on. Yeah, it's sad to think that this is what we have to go to. But some of us who took that lead pill and didn't take the blue pill we woke up and we're better now. We can talk to our friends better. We know what we can say. We know we can have an opinion about stuff. We can think for ourselves. We're not in the world of dum-dums as much as people think. We're not in the world of stupid teenagers. We are adults. We are the next race beyond generations. We are the next generation. Thank God, or oh, thank plea, for the love of God, please don't let us to be the last civilization to stand. The end of those games are just fucking terrible. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is how things are going to go with me on this channel. I might go to BitTube because I might be shut down quicker than I can. I only make a few of these to see how people feel or like or do. But thank you for watching this video. This is my take on what the world is now. I did this before. I would be a mental rage. This would not work. You can't go mad at everything. Enjoy your life.
Make sure things are worth the living for. This is what I've done now. I've got my own place now. I've been able to get myself better. Left from my depression state and went up. Helped. Living in a world that my ancestors fought for, saved for and thank God didn't die for nothing. But this is what the world is turning to. It's turning to say everyone who died in those wars was for nothing. I support the people who passed away for our sins, even at wars that we didn't ask for. But thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Amen. Subscribe.